So, you're looking at how to get a free domain. Well, I have the answers right here and let me share you my experience with free domains and show you how you can actually get one without being scammed. Are free domains safe and is it a legitimate thing? Well, no. Just like a free house isn't a thing. Sure, maybe you can get a domain name under a very specific condition like a new local business opening in a certain small region of the world, but these situations are so conditional that it's not a viable thing for 99.9% .9 of cases. Honestly, the most frustrating thing with all this free domain name marketing is that people waste their time and money on nonsense. I tried so many domain giveaways, contests, or special domain name registration, but they just wasted my time and flooded my inbox with spam. Look, I'm not your dad, but you can give free domain providers like freedom.com a chance. But for me, none of them actually gave a free domain. But I really got to know the phrases of pending, verifying, or suspended though. So. Is there any way to get a free domain name without getting scammed or wasting your time? Well, sort of. My first recommendation would be to find a cheap domain registrar. Both Hostinger and GoDaddy has some great deals. Oh, and I'll also leave my exclusive discount deals in the description to make sure you spend as little as possible with these providers. Right, so if domain registrars aren't what you want, then I have one question. Do you care about the domain name itself? Like what I mean is, can your domain look like this? Or are you looking for a nice looking domain with a .com at the end? If you're fine with a random name, then following this guide, free domain name or more correctly, a free subdomain is easy to get nowadays. Any subdomain does all the same things as a normal domain. Maybe, well, not all of them, but 99% of them. Of course, the subdomain will mostly be constructed from random letters or numbers, so you need to be okay with the name not being that presentable. However, if you're building a, let's say, school project or an event site for your friends, check out Wix or WordPress.com. They allow you to create a free account and subdomain, but the con of this is that you're forced to use these specific platforms. If you do want to work with web projects, GitHub actually offers free subdomains. It's a bit more of a complex process to get one, so it's not for beginners and not for random usage, just apps as well as testing. GitHub subdomains are a really great choice if you've started learning programming or web applications. The last option for subdomains is 000 webhost. It's great for working with regular WordPress and even gives you a very limited free web hosting plan. Naturally, this plan is extremely restrictive. There are ads all over your design and the performance isn't stellar, but hey, it's free hosting with a subdomain. Okay, okay, so how to get free domain with a nice looking name? Well, we can get a free domain name forever. We can settle on the next best thing though, a free domain name for a year. You see, most hosting or website builder providers offer a free domain name for the first year with some or even all of their plans. This means that a simple shared hosting plan can be enough. And what's better is that after that free year, you can choose not to renew your domain name if you don't feel like it. My two recommendations would be Hostinger and DreamHost. Hostinger free domain offer is very affordable, starting from $3 a month. With this plan, you can host 100 websites, get 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, and of course, a free domain name. DreamHost comes with truly user-friendly interfaces and the unlimited plan is amazing for beginners since it doesn't limit anything. As for website builders, my recommendations would be grabbing a cheap Hostinger website builder or Wix free domain with premium plans. Wix is an extremely extensive platform that can be a bit daunting for new users. But here's where Hostinger comes in with a super simple and beginner-friendly builder. Hey, if you're still here, 
don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the Cyber News channel. Thanks. So, to sum up, don't waste your time with free domain nonsense. If you don't need a good-looking domain name, grab a free subdomain name from providers like Wix. For everyone else, grab it from a cheap domain registrar or hosting provider like Hostinger. Thanks for sticking till the very end of my free domain 2023 tutorial. If you have any questions still unanswered or want a full Wix website tutorial, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to see you all next time.